Hey, this is Slam from GamingDrunk.com, bringing you a video on Sony Vegas. Yeah, I know, Sony Vegas. It uh, usually just works, but sometimes you run into things like what you're seeing on the screen right now. So that's what I'm going to try to help you out. I've actually known about this for quite some time. I actually ran into this, I think, in Vegas Pro 11. Um, almost, oh boy, a long time ago. But who cares? What normally you'll see is either it'll just crash out on MP4 files, usually in usually encoded like X264 or something like that, and it'll either have the same image going throughout your timeline down here, or it'll show this green. That's even worse. So it's completely broken. If I do hit play, Vegas will just crash. So I'm not going to do that. It's not fun. Not fun for you, not fun for me. But what you can do to fix this issue is very simple. Usually it's very simple for most people if you're working with Sony Vegas. So what you first do is you're going to right click down here wherever you have it. You can actually right click up here I believe, but I always put it down here, see if it works, and then if I see this, I know there's a problem. So you click on properties, and it's going to bring this up. Another quick tip, oh, never use resample, it just craps everything up. Anyways, so it shows you some things. Go to general. And in general, if you scroll all the way down, it's going to show you what plugin it's using to show the video event. Uh, and that's your MP4 file. Um, and in this case, it's going to be this Compound Plug DL. Uh, DL. Forgot an L there. And it's in this folder. So it gives you the full output of where to find it. So if you want, just copy and paste this if you want to find it very easily in your file explorer. So now that you know what plugin it's using, we're going to use this information later on. Normally, I found about 90% of the time it is compound plug causing the issue, so it's probably the same for you. But if it's not, just note it and see if this works for you as well. Uh, it might or might not. So, yep, I'll be back with you in a second when I get my file explorer out. So, oh, yeah, I forgot. you got to exit out of here, so make sure you exit out of Sony Vegas before you do this if you don't probably gonna crash anyways but just exit out but anyway so you're gonna go and find your uh, that directory that was just thing if you if you have it pasted you can just control V here and it'll go right through it um, so it's in this Sony Vegas Pro 12 file IO plugins under program files now I'm running 64-bit so it's in program files if you're running the 32-bit it'll be program files with uh, x86 or something um, in there uh, if it's a little bit different and there's a random Windows beep. Um, <laughs> so, now that we're here, you can see it's right here, a compound plug. And you can see the actual plug-in components down here. And that's what it's actually running. But we don't care about that. What you want to do is up here, just rename this to dot disabled. And what this is doing is simply, it's just telling Sony Vegas, you can't find it, can you? And then it just switches to use the next available plugin that it thinks should work for that file, the MP4 file. So with this, you got this set up. You can go ahead and start Sony Vegas Pro up again, and I'll be right back. All right, so Sony Vegas is back up, and as you can see, darkness, same thing, same file. It's billing peaks, which is actually a good sign. Um, sure, but I always have to change this. I don't know why they added this. I don't know what it's for, but I can never use it. So as you can see, now you're able to see the entire stream, the entire thing. Uh, and if you right-click it now, oops, I misclicked. If you click the video section and then click properties, you hear a Windows beep for some reason. Um, and you click, well, that was weird. Click general and scroll down and you're going to see that it's now using a different plugin, this MC MP4 plug 2. Um, and that one actually works with this. Uh, this was taken off of Elgato, in case anybody was wondering, uh, for the PS4. Um, and this was down, it was I, it was shown in 1080p and down sampled. No, that's resized, probably the better word, to uh, 720p. So that's what you're seeing. And it's going to be an upcoming video if you want to see it, because it was really fucked up and I got freaked out when this actually was happening in game time. And you could see a preview of the Demon Eyes. Uh, this is not edited, that's just fucked up shit. But anyways, <laughs> this is how you fix it. Seeing it just simply now runs, like, you can hear it, you're gonna have to make an no problems whatsoever, and it'll actually work. Ryan no issues. Short. Not sure, the audio you hear from, that's just with this clip, because 
like in the game that's how it was everything was messed up so don't take that as something's not working it's just this clip uh, because it'll be the show really freaked out for some reason during that game so anyways that's pretty much how you fix it it's quite simple um, you can leave it disabled if you want or after you're done with whatever you're working on you can change it back um, just all you have to do is go back into your um, folder directory and just rename it back to the original name so that's why I always use dot disabled so it's easy for you to go back and forth whatever you need to do but yeah that's it thanks for watching hopefully it fixed your issue if you're getting that weird green screen or the same um, image throughout your mp4 file and then it sony vegas crashes um, and if you have any comments or if you have any other better way to fix this issue definitely leave a comment because you're not just helping me out you're helping out a bunch of people uh, that are watching this video so again thanks for watching